Hello fellow Earthlings, welcome to another episode of Iggy's Toy Parade and Soldier Review. Yay! Thank you for that. Well guys, we're going to go back in time to a galaxy far, far away and a long time ago. How did it go exactly? It's been a while since I've watched that movie. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. I think that's how it starts. There were Star Wars. And today I'm going to feature a Target toy exclusive, which includes this Millennium Falcon and two TIE Interceptors. Now, the TIE Interceptor did not show up in the uh, Star Wars universe, if you will, until Return of the Jedi. So I was thinking for this toy, it would have been better, in my opinion, to include a pair of regular TIE fighters um, at the the last battle in Return of the Jedi the uh, TIE Interceptors show up but in two other movies it's regular TIE fighters so I think I would have gone with that but you know I'm not in charge of anything so let's take a look at what we got I took it out of the box in order to share it with you. And I'm glad I did because it was a devil trying to get one of these things out of here. And I never did get the Millennium Falcon out of the packaging. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess they never intended for anyone to take this out and play with it because it's inc I'll show you what I mean in just a second. First, we'll take a look at the packaging. This is the back side of the box or the dark side, if you prefer. And we'll take a quick look at this, whip it around, We've got to whip it, and I just dropped everything on the floor. Oh, shit. Without a tripod, it... Oh, now I just... God, what a hassle. Stop it. Just so I could show you the front of an empty box. Wow, that was really smart filmmaking. Uh, it's the Micro Galaxy Squadron, and it sh shows over here only at Target. And apparently it has lights and sounds, but I haven't determined how to work those yet. Maybe it needs a battery. And you can see here that I got it on clearance for $41.99. It said originally it was $59.99. I don't know about you guys, but that's kind of expensive. I don't think, I think even $41.99 was a bit much for this. Maybe $30 tops, but hey, I'm not in charge. All right, so let's take a look at this. This is what I mean. The packaging, I, I can't get this out of here. I'm afraid I'm going to break it. It comes with uh, some figures which are pretty nicely detailed. They're only like an inch tall. And this is uh, Lando Carissian. And here's his co-pilot. I think his name is Nian Nub. Nian Nub. And then it comes with two rebel troopers and two... Imperial TIE Fighter pilots. And here's the radar array that goes up on the top over here. I'm guessing this is the assembly to put it up here. Um, and this is one of the TIE interceptors. Now, I, I can't get it out of here. I did get one, pop one out earlier, but I dropped it on the floor. Where'd it go? Let me see if I can find it. There it is. Maybe I can reach it with my foot. <laughs> I reached it with my foot and kicked it even further under the table. Why do they call the interceptors if you can't even get them? Uh, uh. I got it. I got it. Ooh, sorry about that. Kind of winded doing that. Oh, and it's got 
scrambled eggs on it because it fell on the floor. You're like, why is there scrambled eggs on the floor? Uh, Iggy's a mess. I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, this is the TIE Interceptor. You can see it's slightly different in design. It still has the flying eyeball, but then the side wings are are uh, quite different in design. It's still recognizable as a TIE fighter, but you can see it is different. And these showed up in Return of the Jedi. And in this set, you get two of them. Here's the other one. I couldn't get it out. I'd like to show you the, the Millennium Falcon, but I, I just dropped the TIE fighter again. I'm having a good time today. The air conditioning where I live doesn't work, and it's real steamy and uncomfortable. And so it's making me lose my temper. <laughs> you can tell I'm not in a very good mood. Uh, here's the back side of it. The dark side. Uh, I kind of figured there would be a problem, so I decided to get this book out. And I marked the page for once. And where is it? This is unbelievable, guys. I did, I swear to God, I, I marked the page. There it is. There's a um, photograph of the TIE fighter that they used in making the movie. And here's another image of it with it tilted slightly downward so you cannot see this opening on the side here because of the angle. And then I marked the Millennium Falcon. Let me see. You're like, yeah, sure, Rich. There it is. See? These didn't seem to help me, though, did they? Here's the Millennium Falcon. Now, I noticed uh, with this, the radar display is to up here over here and this is a pair of laser cannon so maybe that's what this is and then this would go over here yeah that's where it that's how it goes well it's a good thing i looked at this picture i would have been telling you stuff that isn't true you know what, guys? I don't really, I don't really collect Star Wars anymore, and and I'll tell you why. The uh, newer movies they suck. I'm sorry, but they they just aren't any good. I mean, you can spend millions of dollars on special effects, and if you don't have a good story, <clears throat> the new ones basically were copies of the old movies. Uh, there is an exception, though. Rogue One, I thought, was excellent. I thought that was a really good Star Wars story. I really enjoyed that. They got that one right. And the way they seamlessly connected uh, A New Hope uh, to... Um, what was the one after New Hope? Empire Strikes Back. They connected the stories very, very well. I, if you haven't seen Rogue One, I highly recommend it. Uh, Han Solo was not bad either. Uh, but it could be I had low expectations when I went to see it and, and was pleasantly surprised. But the other movies, oh, and, and some of those other movies, like The Acolyte and all, it's garbage, forget it. I'm not watching any of that crap. That's what I call the dark side of the force. Anyway, that's it for Iggy. I want to thank you for getting Iggy with it. And this uh, playset, by the way, was made possible by a couple of girls at work who got me a uh, gift card at Target. A very generous gift card. I think it was 100 bucks. And uh, when I retired and... Uh, you know, I... <laughs> I always feel like I'm going to tear up when I think about it. It was very, very uh, sweet of them to do that for me. And I have this souvenir 
of their kindness and affection. Whew. Okay. Guys, that's it for this time. I want to thank you for getting Iggy with it. Um, I think this time we should go for a hot dog. We went to Carney's last time in Studio City. Uh, maybe you guys have a place near where you live that you could recommend where we could all get together and uh, maybe bring along our Mark's uh, suitcase play sets, you know, the metal ones, where you could get uh, Cape Canaveral or uh, uh, King Arthur's Castle, Fort Apache. Those play sets were <laughs> so much fun. Anyway... We'll meet up there at your favorite hot dog place. Now, my favorite hot dog place here near Jacksonville is actually in St. Augustine. It's called Hazel's Hot Dog Hut, and I like going there. They have good fries there, too. They're not a sponsor. I'm just a fan. That's it. Okay, guys, that's it for me. i give you a real quick look at the, the actual model of the Millennium Falcon. I, I recommend these... Uh, squadron micro machine squadron uh vehicles they're slightly larger than the first wave of uh micro machines that they came out with so you get more detail and i think more play value because they're they're larger and did i drop the tie i dropped the tie fighter again i see it it's under the table okay uh Okay, well, that's it for me, and I'll see you next time, okay? Thanks for coming by. We'll all get together at your favorite hot dog place. Maybe Roy and Trigger and Bullet and Dale uh, will come by and say hello to us while we're eating. Okay, guys, take care. Be good. <laughs>